Okay, here's a quick video of the Tesslorian strip computer. So this is the the display, the computer that sits in the main console. It's pretty much the brains of the car. Talks to the drive unit, the thermal management system, the battery controller, the charge controller, um, the instrument cluster. I'm trying to think of all the things it talks to. So this is the, the main display that you boot up with. There's a couple of things here that aren't always going to be on the display. So for one, uh, the, this icon up here is the cruise control. That only shows up when cruise control is switched on. You've got the um, car uh, information alert over here. Rather than a check engine light, it's just a DeLorean with an exclamation mark. Um, I tried to make the clock look a bit like it does in the stock DeLorean. You can switch the defrost on and off from here because the defrost button got deleted from the uh, center armrest. You can adjust the contrast of the display so that it doesn't blind you at night. And you can adjust the volume of any music that's playing. And so this is a 4D Systems uh, seven inch touch screen display. And um, so let's see, let's go to the next screen. This is uh, the charging status display. So you actually initiate charging by hooking up the J1772 and then also pressing some uh, buttons on the keypad pro like the, the gear selector uh, mechanism in the center of the console. So this is really just an information display. Here you can see it's not charging and you can set the charge level to 100% or 90%. Uh, the battery will light up indicating the state of charge. Let me get refocused again. Um, it shows you how many minutes you got left to finish charging. Uh, what's the current voltage of the battery and what percentage of your um, stock is left? Oh. Let's go to battery. So this is the battery display. Um, each of those boxes represents one cell triplet. So the Tesslorian has eight uh, modules of 14 cells each, and each cell has a triplet of um, three lithium ion cells. So it's 120, 112, sorry, cells all together. It shows you the pack volts on the left. Um, and then at the top, it's showing you the minimum and maximum cells. Um, so you would hope with the balancing system active that those would be pretty close. Um, and then on the right-hand side, you got four temperatures, one for each module pair. And so there are four module pairs within the battery system. Uh, currently it's, it's, it wouldn't, so these, each of these cells goes from a light, uh, deep red all the way up to a light green, a bright green, uh, indicating the state of charge of the cell on an absolute basis. And then you can also switch it to uh, be a balanced basis. So in other words, it'll show you the relative difference between the charges that the cells have. Um, this is the uh, temperature system. So the green cells, all the green entries, the zeros, uh, would be actual uh, temperature measurements or in the case of pumps, which are kind of hard to see on the screen here because of their dark color, the pumps are all, um, how hard is the pump working? What is its rate of work? Um, there's the fans on the radiator fans on the far left. Um, you got pumps and valves, you got the DC to DC converter, the chiller, which chills the coolant if it needs to actively cool the coolant down apart from using the radiator. Um, you've also got the, high voltage charger, which generates heat and is also water cooled. Um, and then you got the heater, the coolant heater, which will heat the coolant if it's too cold for the battery. This is the battery system, the A123 um, modules on the right hand side. And then on the far right, you've got the drive unit, um, the small Tesla drive unit. So it's a very similar system, flow system to the Model S in that there's an inner loop and an outer loop. And that allows you to segregate the temperature that the battery is exposed to versus the temperature that the drive unit is exposed to. So there's occasions where you want to join those together and there's occasions where you want to separate those two loops so that you can maintain the battery um, within its working temperature range. This is the um, music player. Basically pretty simple. You put in an SD card with some uh, music tracks on it and uh, albums and folders, that sort of thing. And you can um, have this playing in the background. It goes to an amplifier, um, which should sound pretty good, already in the car. This is 
So um, this is the, that little orange thing at the top is the, the HSR drive unit controller. Um, you can save settings. Um, it shows you the instantaneous volts and amps on the left that the drive unit is reporting. It shows you the gear that's currently selected and uh, you'll notice the, the, um, the font being used is actually the DeLorean font, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, you can set the level of region that you want and the level of torque that you want. There's torque power. You can turn traction control on and off. The drive unit has a simple traction control system, uh, but the Tesslorian also has a Quaife limited slip differential in the drive unit. You can turn creep on and off, which is kind of a personal preference for how the car moves forward without hitting the accelerator. And then the, it also reports um, a large number of uh, temperatures and temperature ranges for drive unit um, management. So it's just uh, reporting a lot of the data that the drive unit provides. Okay, come on. This is performance data. So on the left hand side, you've got a trailing um, graph. You'll see four lines on there related to vehicle speed, uh, the rate of acceleration, the torque that the motor's uh, reporting and the mechanical power. So you'll see lines being drawn. You'll be able to get a chance to see uh, the performance level of the car. And then finally, last but not least, I got this little icon of John DeLorean down here just for fun. And if you click on him, you get the time machine. So just for fun, that'll be a, a neat display to have up sometimes. You touch on that, you go back to the trip computer display. So a bit of fun with uh, putting that all together. This is a 4D systems um, seven inch display. It has its own graphics processor built into it. And so the trip, the trip computer is really just sending it messages back and forth, reporting data, taking input and so on. So that's a company out of Australia that makes these displays.